uh, I wanted to preface this video because there's just a lot that happened. Uh, this video took place over two days, uh, yesterday, February 21st, 2019, and today, February 22nd, 2019. Uh, I went to go do a, a First Amendment audit of the Richmond Postal Service in Richmond, Illinois. Uh, and I got to be honest with you, the cops were called and I folded like a house of cards. Uh, as an auditor, especially a new one, you spend hours watching other audits and, uh, you know, you prepare your strategy and your rhetoric and you think you're going in and you can, you're ready to go and then contact gets made and it all goes out the window. Uh, you know, my confidence wasn't up yesterday. Uh, I'm visiting a new state, so there's doubts in my mind there uh, on their laws and then stat state statutes, and then there's also the doubt in my mind about are you allowed to video in a post office or not? I mean, one half says, yes, you absolutely are. The other half says, no, you're absolutely not. Uh, so I decided to go back and find out once and for all. So I'm telling you, watch this video. I promise I cut out as much fat as I possibly could because I was over, I was there for over two hours. This is the longest video I've ever done, but it's so important because it answers this question without a doubt. Um, I hope you enjoy it. I uh, can't wait to see all your, your comments. So have a great day. Enjoy the video. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Civil Unrest News coming at you with another First Amendment audit. This time, we're doing the U.S. Postal Service here in Richmond, Illinois. Let's see if they respect our right to record in public. Participating in unrest civilly. There's where it's posted. I'm not gonna cross that line. How you doing, sir? Good, how are you, sir? What's happening? Can I get your uh, name and badge number, please? Sure, sir? Officer Prindle, Richmond Prindle? Police Department. What's hey, going on over here? In your uh, badge number? 9480. 9480. Yeah, what, what's Good happening you, over here? Huh? Okay, they're worried about when you're taking pictures of a government building, okay? They okay. called about you, they're on their property, they're asking that, you to leave that, their property. Is that illegal? Okay? To be on their property, they want you to leave, yes. Is this not a public sidewalk? It's in front of their building, no. This is theirs. Okay. Well, you go right down there if you want. I'll go down there. Okay, do you have any identification with you, sir? Oh, no, sir. Okay, what's your name? Oh, uh, again, have I done something wrong? Well, they call us, but first of all, I usually have to report saying I talked to somebody and he wasn't doing anything wrong. So I like put you to report saying you weren't doing anything wrong. No, I'd rather, I'd rather keep my name private then. Okay, do you live in town here? You live local? Sir, I'm, I'd just rather keep my, my personal business private. Okay, okay, why don't you move on down that way, away from the front of their building, please, okay? All right. I appreciate it. Thank oh, you very uh, where, much. Where, where does the public huh? easement, where does the public easement that, start? That's our lot line, just up by, by the blue building right there. Okay, okay. perfect. Right here? Yeah, you're fine right there. All right. Well, the Richmond Post Office gets a C. Okay. You have a good one today, okay? How is this, that, these tall ramps? Oh, nice. They gotta be nice with the, with the, extra, with the extra room in them. Yeah, I can walk and stand up and walk around in it. Yeah. yeah nice day out. No problem. Take care. Officer. Yes, sir. You mind if I ask you a few questions, sir? No. You don't want to talk to me. I don't want to talk to you right now. Thank you. All right. Thanks for being professional. All right, guys, I'm back the next day. I'm really disappointed in myself how yesterday's audit went down. I just feel like I totally crumbled. Didn't assert my rights like I should have, and it just really, I just wasn't happy with myself. And basically, the reason is, is because there's all this conjecture about recording in post offices. People say you can, people say you can't. And I never make a bet unless I know I'm gonna win. Well, today I'm gonna win. Hello. Hello. 
How are you? Good, how are you? Taking pictures? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> So, uh, are you the supervisor? I am not. Do you, uh, is there a supervisor here? We are not here. Okay. Chris or Dave? Dan? Chris should be back by two. Okay, great. Uh, who are you? Are you here? I don't think you're allowed to be in here with the camera, right? Oh, I am. Oh. And, and what's your name? Kathy. Kathy. Very nice to meet you. What's this about? Just taking pictures. And who are you? Just concerned citizen. Interested citizen. How long you worked for the post office, Kathy? A long time. Long time. Do you enjoy it? I love it. I'm not camping on it either. Uh, you're not really even supposed to be doing this, I don't think. I'll call Chris. And how is it why you don't want to tell your name? I just respect my privacy. Well, but you're not supposed to be in the post office taking pictures either. I am. I, I'm allowed, though. No, really not. Hi, Chris, there's a gentleman here taking pictures inside the office. He said he's allowed here. He will not give his name. He's taking a picture of me talking on the phone, too. He's taping me. And he's taping inside here right now. Are you taking pictures? I can wait. No, it's fine. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. All right, sounds good. Kathy, you know if Chris is coming to talk to me or? Yeah, so she might be coming here. Hmm? She's coming. Okay, great. <gasps> Hello. Hi, Chris. Hi. 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 Was it a guy or a girl? I, I never even came inside. Oh. I just helped her. I don't even work here. Oh. Just came today. You should have came inside. Well, and I'll be honest with you, like, I've I've been researching this, and I, and I wasn't sure. So, I just tend to stay. I was right there on the sidewalk, just being quiet. And nobody even came out to ask what I was doing, and they just called the cops. So, you know, that I'm a little concerned that the post office is impeding our First Amendment rights. Oh. This looks like her boyfriend. I don't know if it is like that. Hi. Hi, I'm Jeff. Oh, hi, Jeff. Hi. hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Go on. Chris not coming in. What are you doing? How are you, sir? Chris isn't coming in. Okay. So what do you want to talk to her about? Is she a supervisor? Who she are, is. Who, who are she you? She is a supervisor. Who are you? She sent me down here to ask what the hell you're doing here. Call the police. Okay. All right. That's what they're doing. They just want to go viral as a goddamn Democrat. I'm actually a, a conservative constitutionalist. Whatever you are. Honey. You're making a, you're making the employees nervous. Is that what you're supposed to do? She seems fine. We've been having a nice conversation. Yeah, that's why she called somebody to come down and see what the hell you're doing. And who are you? Thank you for calling the United Richmond States Postal, Postal Service Center. Customer Care Center. <laughs> to hear our privacy policy, press one. Um, oh, yes. I oh. 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 Is that the nine? What you do? Nine one one. Before we get started, we'll call the nine emergency number. I try to make it short, and we promise oh. survey at the end of this call. We respect your time. 
Oh, well, there's just a gentleman in here taping everybody and everything in. Standing in the lobby, just taping everything. Thanks. Just taping everything in the lobby in here. And, we appreciate and I did tell him that he's having the best possible yeah. customer experience. So we, I called the supervisor and the supervisor sent someone over here. Are they on the way? And uh, they're not coming. You can return coming. to the main menu by saying I mean, he's still main here, menu. so <laughs> they told me to call 911 because we're not shit. And she's on 911 right now. Sorry, I didn't get that. To track a package, say package or press one. For passports, say passport. <laughs> well, somehow he's got your name. He wants to talk to you. He's just going to stand here. He's on. just going to stand here and film. He wants to know um, black why jacket, I am, shirt. which is none of his business. So he just thinks he can just. I think he said supplies. Is that correct? No. Say yes. My mistake. Why? Say passports. Fraud. Press one. Okay. Fine. Thank okay. you for calling Good. the U.S. Fine. Postal Inspection Service. A federal law enforcement agency. For more information, please hold while I transfer your call. Hey, Miss Anderson. How are you? Hi. Fine. You so? Well, uh, I'm down at the post office and they've called the police on me again. In fact, the I asked for the supervisor. She wouldn't even come down. She sent her boyfriend in. So she that sent her boyfriend. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Postal. So ins postal. Ins are, I mean, what are you trying to do? You just filming and standing uh, in the lobby, writing up a journal. Or yes. Something to that effect. Yeah, just doing a news story, standing in the lobby, being quiet, not talking to any customers. I chatted with Kathy a little bit. She's been very pleasant. Uh, and the supervisor sent her boyfriend down to see what hold, I was doing. Hold on one second. Hold on. Yes, ma'am. So I'm on the phone with the inspector's office right now. Did they call you, Kathy? Okay. Oh, it's still, the county's trying to call you. Tell them the county's going to call you. You can count on the United States Postal Service for quick delivery to your new address. Yeah, Just file a permanent or temporary forwarding order at your local post office, and your mail will arrive right at your doorstep. I would tell you, except I'm on film, and I'm done talking to the camera. www.usps.com Miss Kathy? You can find information what do you answer? I'm, I'm on the phone with the inspect postal inspector's office right now. Hello? Miss Anderson? Yeah? The police the police are here now. Would you like to speak with them? Yeah. Um, you, you, you would need to speak to an inspector as well. Because I was going to have him talk to one earlier, but he, he said that was okay. No, take it down. Right. You don't want to give out the wrong information. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, well, the po the police officers the police officers coming in right now. What postal station are you? Rich Richmond, Illinois. And what's the zip code? Miss Kathy, what's the zip code here? They they won't even answer me now. Wow. Oh, it's Richmond, Illinois. Is that under um? It's gonna be the Cherry Road. Hold on, okay? Yes, ma'am. Hold on, please. Hold on. Yes, ma'am. Whether you are moving across the street or across the country, you can count on the United States Postal Service for quick delivery to your new address. Uh, oh, sir, I'm on with the postal inspector's oh, office. That's fine. Well, they said they'd, they'd like to, if you could go in there with me, they'd like to, to speak to the supervisor to advise them. I talked to them this I, morning. I just, I just explained to her. I explained to her. Okay? You're fine. You're in a public building. Not a problem. 
Okay. Yeah. Well, can, can we talk to this gentleman? Which gentleman? Uh, apparently the supervisor's boyfriend. Came okay. in very confrontational. Well, the, 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 okay, he's gone. He left. So he's already gone, okay? Yes, so, sir. So we're done. Okay? Like I asked, I asked your court yesterday if you just do us a favor. Okay? If you want to stay out here with that problem, just over that way a little bit because you obviously you're alarming people. Right, okay? well, and, 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 yeah, and, 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 and I know you have a right to be here. Right. But like I said, we're just trying to stop people from calling us again. Right. Okay? That's right. all. Yeah. So like I said, I got no problem with you videotaping doing what you're doing to see what they're doing, their jobs, and everything else. Legally fine, okay? All right, great. That's, that's why you videotape us too, it's fine. Yeah. Uh, we don't have issues with that. But we get, keep getting calls. That's the Well, and that's, then we you see know, to be honest with you, that, that, that's why I came back is to educate them. Right. You know? So. Yeah, about so. about First Amendment rights, and, right? You know. Except, and most of them, she's she's a sub, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and I don't, so, I don't have a the regular with people her. that work here today. They knew about it because they, when I talked to them yesterday, they said, "Yeah, we're aware of it." So, well, so then, why she did she send her boyfriend down I, to be confrontational? I have no, she's, I don't know. Okay, I don't know. Can't answer that question. Okay, all I know all is right. she's gone. And like I said, so I get all along. Okay, you just try, you're trying to do what you got to do. Yeah, but we're all just trying to keep the peace. Okay, awesome. Sound and, good to you? Yes, sir. What's your name, sir? I'm Steve. Yeah, Steve. Yeah, I got. What's your name? Ah. Uh -huh. What's your name, sir? Officer Rout. And what's your badge number? It's 9473. Officer Rout. Thank you, gentlemen, for okay. upholding your oath to the Constitution. Okay. Appreciate it. Officer, she's now locked the lobby. Call the postal, please. I can't do anything about her locking the door. All right, well, I'm, I'm on with him right now. Hey, you got to talk to that. I can't do anything about someone locking a door. It's yeah. property. Yeah. yeah. That's well, what, I'm, on, I'm, I'm on the phone with the postal inspector, inspector right now. All right, yeah, thank okay. you. Y'all have a great day. Stay safe out there. She locked the door on me. Did you know that there is an important difference between certified and registered mail? Certified mail provides a mailing receipt. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Uh, yeah, I can give it to you right now. It's six zero zero seven one. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. It's going to be Carol Stream or Lisa. Okay. Hold on, okay? Yes, ma'am. Where's the postmaster? Who's the person? The police officer. The the supervisor. Uh, the postmaster is on vacation. His name is Dave. The supervisor, her name is Chris, and she's not here. I guess she was out to lunch. Well, who's calling the police? Uh, the the lady. Apparently, the supervisor called the police. Chris called the police. It's not, it, it is not illegal to, uh, to take pictures outside. You're taking pictures outside. No, I went. I, I took a picture. I did a picture of the four years lobby and um, corridors. Okay, and, and there was no disruption? No, ma'am. I sat there completely quiet while people were uh, doing their business. I spoke, I chatted with Kathy. Yeah. She was asking questions about what I was doing. I told her. And then uh, when I asked, she called the supervisor. Uh, then I asked if the supervisor was coming down to see me. And she said, Kathy said that she believed so. And then her boyfriend showed up and started being very confrontational and told Kathy to call the cops. Where's the, uh, pol um, the police? I just spoke with the police. They said, look, it's a public building. There's, I, there's nothing. You did nothing wrong. Yesterday we just asked you to do us a favor. Um, and, you know, and then they left. So they're good. But now I would like... I don't know what to do about this supervisor because now I feel threatened, you know, that she would send her boyfriend down to be confrontational with me. I'm just saying, hold on one second, okay? Yes, ma'am. Hello, sir. What what type of uh, threats did the uh, boyfriend make? Is he a postal employee? Oh no, no, ma'am. He's 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 not a postal employee. He's, he's just the boyfriend, and he just came in and said, "What are you doing, man? You're not supposed to be filming in here." And I was just like, "Who? Are, I'm sorry, who are you? And he wouldn't answer me. I found out it was through the postal employee, Kathy, postal clerk. And he was he was just being, he didn't make any threats, but his demeanor was, was very aggressive. Like he came in to try to intimidate me. You okay? And now she's locked, now they've locked the lobby. They did, they came and left. They locked the lobby? 
Yes, ma'am. To keep the customers from coming in? Yes, ma'am. Well, to keep me from coming in. Mm-hmm. And I've got this all on film. You can see that I am I'm not being disruptive in any way. He was not disruptive in any way. Yeah, I remember that from your initial call. Mm -hmm. Now we've got a customer trying to get in and it's locked. What's his number? What's your number? You might try knocking. And your name? Okay, someone's gonna call you. Somebody's gonna. Okay. Um, would you ladies mind if I kept you on the line until we get, until that phone call comes in, or? Okay, who who should I be expecting a phone call from? Who should he be expecting? He's on expected will call. Okay. Expected will call, okay? For you, And a lady? Yes, ma'am, a lady just came in and they they turned away business. She doesn't, she's going to have a male or female. She's going to sign it to someone. Okay, great. Your name? Yes, ma'am. Okay, I'm going to have to get you on the phone and get you some help. All right, thank you, ladies. Be careful. Be uh, careful out here. Yes, ma'am. I'm just going to stand All here right. silently. Bye-bye. Hi. Are you going to be all right? I'm going to be fine. You're not going to cause any trouble with me? Oh, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. It's not you. It's not you at all. Because okay, you scared me badly. Oh, well, I, and I didn't I mean to scare you. My whole body. I, I didn't mean to scare you at all. He, her boyfriend what came in a little hot-headed okay. of course I'm not gonna hurt you and that wasn't my intention at all I'm what? This is, the gentleman. This is this is, is this Chris all right hi Chris how are you doing today ma'am good good um could I speak with you? The, the postal inspector's office said that I talked to them today, mm -hmm. uh, and they said that if I run into any problems that I should call them because uh, they, they would like to speak with you directly. Why do they want to speak to me? Uh, what, what, what do you have a problem with? Well, uh, the post office called the cops on me yesterday, and then you sent your boyfriend down here when I asked for you. Uh, to speak with you, you sent your boyfriend down here, and he was very confrontational, and the cops were called on me again. All for exercising my First Amendment right. Well, I sent my boyfriend down here to be with her because she was scared. I didn't send him down here to talk to you. Well, he talked to me, and he was, he was very agitated and, and confrontational. Well, I'm sorry about that, but I don't know what your purpose is. To exercise my First Amendment. Oh, okay. Well, good. Have a, make yourself comfortable. Well, I, I would. We we still they're they're going to be calling back, and they do they do want to have it, speak okay. with you. Okay. So, okay. we'll wait till well till that happens. Well, when are they going to call back? They said five minutes. I'm going to put you on speakerphone here. Uh, okay. And. Just so you know, I'm also re recording this on film just so I can capture the entire event. Um, so, yesterday. What, what are you. Sir? What, what are you recording on film? Uh, our conversation, is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So, yesterday I came out to Richmond, Illinois to uh, get some B roll footage uh, of the post office here. And I, stu okay. I was standing on the sidewalk. Uh, they called the police. Didn't even come out and ask what I was doing. They called the police. Police came out and threatened trespass uh, if I didn't leave the property. Uh, and uh, I wasn't quite sure of the laws here in Illinois. So I did that. I left. Uh, I called the postal, called you folks today to get clarification on poster 7 uh, and filming in the lobby's corridors and four years for news purposes. Uh, I spoke to Miss Anderson. She said, yes, that's well within your rights, just as long as you're not being disruptive or impeding normal business. 
So I can't, and she says, I said, you know, I need to go back to finish my story. Um, if I run into any complications, uh, do you mind me calling you? And she said, yes, call us. We'll talk to the supervisor uh, to let them know that it's okay to film again as long as you're not disrupting business. So I came back today, uh, was working on my story, uh, sat in the lobby to get some B-roll footage out of the way, um, wasn't talking to anybody. I chatted with the postal clerk a little bit when she was asking what I was doing. I said, I'm just gathering footage. Uh, she was very pleasant. Her name is Kathy. Um, I asked to speak to, uh, or she said, you know, I don't think you're supposed to be doing that. And I said, ma'am, it's, it's okay. I, I'm, I'm allowed. Uh, and then she called this, her supervisor, Chris, because the postmaster, Dave, I think his name is, is on vacation. Um, right. Sh I, I don't know what Chris's end of the conversation was, but I uh, asked to speak to the supervisor. Um, she got off the phone about t 10 minutes later. She goes, I don't think Chris is coming down. Uh, but then Chris's boyfriend walks in, being very confrontational, asking what I'm doing, why I'm here. Uh, was very intimidating. I asked who he was, he wouldn't answer me. He told uh, the postal clerk, Kathy, to call the cops, that Chris was calling the cops and that he was calling the cops. So they called 911. At that time, that's when I called Miss Anderson again and let her know what was going on uh, while all this was going on. The police showed up. Uh, I spoke with them, I said, look, I'm here. I've talked to the postal in inspector's office. They said, as long as I'm not being disruptive, I'm well within my rights. Uh, they said, okay, they left. Um, and then about five minutes after that, the supervisor showed up uh, and they said at that time, Ms. Anderson said at that time, you would be calling. Uh, so basically I, I would just like to get this matter resolved. Um, you know, in no way am I looking to be confrontational, but I'm just kind of, I'm tired of this kind of stuff happening. You know, and I, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to do my job. I know they're trying to do their job. Um, uh, and it's just, I'm, I'm yeah. just hope we can educate them. Right. Right. So I think what you're, oh, and on top, right now is on top of that, they, they, when I went out to speak to the police, uh, they locked, they locked the lobby door and like three or four customers couldn't get in. Oh, okay. What you're kind of experiencing right now is you're at a smaller post office and they're not generally used to seeing this type of stuff like where people would come film for whatever it may be. So I think they might have got a little scared and called somebody, including the police. But they know what the rules and regulations are and we'll just have to remind them of that. When I say us, uh, that means like postal inspector. Right. So we'll take care of that from our end. You are definitely within your rights to do what you're doing. The only thing that, like, you wouldn't be allowed to do is if you were taking pieces of mail and filming it. Yeah, so yeah, that, yeah, yeah. Do yeah. You don't want to. Yeah, you don't want to film anybody's personal. Right. Stuff, so yeah. you're you're fine. I mean, as long as you're not threatening anybody or physically making contact with anybody, or you're just doing your filming. It's it's totally fine. Okay, great. And can I ask? Can I ask you? Um, ha have you all spoke to the supervisor yet? Okay. And I will be. I will be again too. Okay. Great. Great. Uh, so all, all right. I'm. I'm they, glad we could should, get. They shouldn't be bothering you at all. Great. I'm. I'm glad we could get this resolved, and and I appreciate y'all's efforts at at the postal inspector's office. Uh, it it's gonna make my life and my job a whole lot easier in the future. Okay. Well. Well. Good luck to you. And just if if anything happens immediately, like if if you get threatened or or whatnot, make sure you call the police. Right away, because we we're kind of spread thin. We right. to there for yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and I I really so did. Us, yeah, I really didn't expect yeah. her boyfriend to show up and and, and you know right. act in a threatening well, manner. Yeah, right, right. Um, hopefully he's not going to come back. So yeah, I I, 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 I don't think will. he will. Yeah. Just, judging by our conversation with her earlier, I think they were just concerned because they're not used to seeing people come there with cameras and. Yeah, and I, and I can, I can, I can understand that. Uh, people get shy around cameras. Uh, you know, I'm a photographer. I know people don't like their picture getting taken. Uh, but I, you know, I think 
they just when their initial reaction is to call the police and and try to trespass you or, or do whatever it's, it's just a little ridiculous you know yeah no i i get it man i, I totally understand it just just so far we have this up for our report what what is your last name okay perfect all right sir well if you have any problems you know, like I said, it's in our, an emergency, call the police. Otherwise, feel free to call back our help desk again. We'd be happy to address any questions or concerns you might have. All right, great. And and what was your first name again? It's Scott. Scott. Scott Zimmerman. All right, Scott, thank you so much for your help today, and I appreciate it. No problem, sir. Have a good one. All right, have a great day. Bye. Miss Chris, could I talk to you for a second, please? Uh, so, you talked to the postal inspector? Yes. Okay, and we can agree that we now know that this is all well within people's rights to yes. do this as long as they're not being disruptive? Okay, yes. great. I'm not trying to make anybody look bad. You know, it, I just, I hope this was an educational experience. Um, you know, and I would appreciate a, an apology for for your the way your boyfriend acted and having the cops called on me twice. Oh, she did apologize. Well, yeah, I Remember did. she said, I'm sorry, Bob. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, okay, I didn't catch that. And I mean, Kathy called the police in front of you. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. wasn't here yesterday afternoon, so I don't know who called them on me yesterday. Yeah, I, I didn't even come inside, so I don't yeah, know either. So, so, so yeah. I don't know. So, so yeah, Miss Kathy, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make you feel scared. Like, I scared no, yeah, yeah, ill, no ill will in, or intent. But I, that's what this part of what I'm trying to do is just to get people like not so afraid of cameras and you know normalize this thing. Because since, you know, they say in this day and age, see something, say something, people have gotten freaked out over cameras. That's why I wish you would have said something. Yeah, and they, so. they really shouldn't be. So, all right, folks, I'm going to get out of your hair. Okay. Uh, I hope you all have a wonderful day and stay safe. Thank you. You too. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen. They have now been educated. So, great. Makes me feel so much better. You heard it from the horse's mouth. Anybody has any questions about Poster 7 and your right to film inside, it has just been answered by the Postal Inspector's Office itself. You have the right to go inside and film the post office. As long as you're not impeding normal business. So, case closed, civil unrest news coming at you with a great audit. If you don't know your rights, you don't know your might, participating in unrest civilly.